I've told a great many secrets, tis true. Beyond this door lies the Holocron Vault. The Holocrons contain the most closely guarded secrets of the Jedi Order. Hey everyone, welcome to Tales of the Dark Side. I am here with... Marco, how you doing? And... So, okay, how's it going everyone? And today we're going to be talking about Jedi Fallen Order, which is an amazing game and also some, some comic books. Marco, I think you were going to pull up the picture of... The covers? Yeah, we can go through some of the covers here. This is... Uh, so, do note that uh, there's... We've talked about this in past, uh, like our... When we were doing the... With uh, Leaky Trooper, when we were doing the haul, I think I mentioned that I like to get both the A and Bs on this. These are to have some good uh, variant type covers on it. Speaking of this one, number one, um, which has got these Temple Guard type things on it. We're just going to go through these real quickly, I think. Is that what you want to do? And just kind of, then we'll yeah. talk about what's inside the books. And this is the one, this is the regular cover. You see this a lot. Uh, this is two, this is two A. And then this would be the B. And this is pretty, she import, she's a pretty important character. Yeah. Oh, uh, we'll get into that. Three A. And a bit of a hothead. <laughs> This you want to know what this B cover I I have all it is hard to find this B cover, you know I have a couple of copies of this B cover, a couple of copies of this B cover. This B cover right here is harder to find. I think when the run got later and people really started liking it, um, because Jen, I don't know about you, and I'll finish these covers up. This is uh, fours A, pretty easy to find. Fours B actually is decently easy to find. Um, and then 5A, 5B is very that's, hard to find. Yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. the hardest one to cover. Mm -hmm. But I know like when we were talking about the haul video, I was talking about two covers that are pretty tough to find. And the two that I always have, well, you know, three really. This one has become, over the years, has become harder to find. Uh, the one, this is definitely the hardest to find. And then this cover, believe it or not, I don't know why, but this cover has been harder to find. Well, and Go ahead. Probably because like a lot of people order issue one, issue two, and then by issue three, it's like starting to fall off. And I, I've been seeing a lot of comic book stores just ordering cover A and just like whatever with cover B, which is also why five is so hard to find. Yeah, that goes and runs a lot too. Um, but was five a ratio? I can't remember. I just know that that cover is hard to find. Uh, maybe they were Bs. Maybe they were ratios. Either way, they were... The three, uh, three of them are harder to find. I do know that, that it didn't... It wasn't until like after two that that book really picked up in popularity and i think people weren't in the lcx is connecting it to the video game which obviously you have before too because you find it so intriguing but um it definitely introduces a, a couple characters um not some people's first right like some of the more popular characters there it wouldn't be their first appearance yeah. uh, such as like this right here obviously this is the end of it but not mm -hmm. the first appearance of those people um well, let's go go ahead, Jen. Co cover some of the people that are in the books, and I'll pull well, So, tying in with the games, it's basically a prequel to the game, and then it it's half prequel, half takes place during the game, okay. which is pretty cool, with Cordova and the... How do you say her name? S oh, C-E-R-E, -E, Siri? Sierra. Sierra. Yeah. yeah. So, the, yeah, this is the character she's talking about right here. And could you give a little background on this character? So uh, she was an apprentice of Cordova, who is like an archaeologist type of a person in the Jedi Council. And you just kind of see her be uh, his Padawan. And then how she is kind of hot-headed. And he has to kind of like rein her in a lot. But you see her in this series, like her turn into a Jedi Knight, leading into uh, Fallen Order. Mm -hmm. And it does bring up a couple. It brings up now... It, it, we show this end scene right here and these obviously are the inquisitors and if you're looking you know if you're starting to look for the inquisitors this is probably one of the best books to get oh six mm -hmm. it's where they start having some of the pictures of like the whole squadron of started showing you know pictures of those we covered that before in the vader series uh the soul stuff where they kind of introduce all of them including the grand inquisitor including sister number two Trilla? Yeah. So that's sister number two and sister number nine. And I won't tell you what I refer to sister number nine is because Jen doesn't find it as funny as I do, even though I tell you that. 
because of my mask. Reminds me a lot of Big Barda from DC. What's that? From DC Comics, uh, Big Barda. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. These are, well, these are the. Oh, this is yeah, this is right out of that book. This was out of the the Darth Vader book we just talked about. And there's number two. So she's number two. That's sister number two. That's sister number nine. Um, she looks more like Dark Side. Not Dark Side, uh, Doomsday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the, she, she definitely did. So those characters show, obviously those two characters kind of show up towards the end of the book. The other only character that really is big in there is Sarah or however you say her name. Somebody's going to. We need to get better. We just need to get the Google Translator, I think, on this one and, and hit us up real quickly. So, yeah, it, the sad part is we both played the game, so they say your name all the time in the game. Do this they show the big? Oh, I, I just that's what I was looking for a second ago was his name because I can never remember it. Um, mm-hmm. um, um, uh, uh, the book before that one. Uh, it's big cover of five. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, right here, yep, yeah. right here in the back oh. right. Yeah, they it do. is the big giant white Wookiee that carries the air raid Gatling gun, and he also makes an appearance in Rogue One. Not, so that guy doesn't. It's a different guy. It's the same species. Same it's species. Guy. Um, that's fun because yeah, because you get to see another one of those in there. But they're protecting something. Actually, all those characters are kind of right. Is that what was going on there? Aren't they protecting something? I can't remember what they are protecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're protecting the temple the temple and they're like at war with each other. Right. That is correct. They are at war with each other, which is pretty fun. But doesn't that, doesn't that shaggy dog die? He does. Doesn't he get blown up? Yep. Yeah, I think he does. Man, that's a mess to clean up. Hopefully you got a Roomba. Yeah. Um, now, now you got me questioning, does he die? No, he doesn't die. No, he doesn't die. No. He makes it out. Well, it's after Rogue. It would be, be after Rogue One anyways. Uh, no, it wouldn't. It'd be pre Rogue One, right? Because yeah, yeah, because she's we'll, the Padawan. Yeah, but also that he is scavenging ships from for the Empire, pretty much when he opens up. We're talking about he. Let's get into it. Let's get into the. So those are the books. We're doing a really great job covering those. Maybe we should talk a little bit more about. Oh, so this cover right here. One of the people is there. She already said her real name. The second sister's real name is Trilla. Mm-hmm. And which great. which cover for our listeners that can't see which cover is this? Uh, this was, this is five. Jedi Fallen Order Dark Temple number five, and it has the uh, Inquisitor, the second sister, second sister, the Inquisitor on the cover. Mm-hmm. Great cover, mm-hmm. variant. Yeah, it's hard cover to get. Um, but yeah, it's the lead in, the tie in to the video game. And one of the reasons why Jen's going to talk is because she has played, she completed the video game the most, the, the soonest in this. And I don't remember all of it. But like I do remember, it was fun. What did you think of the video game? Go ahead, give I, us a little bit. I loved it. Uh, it was so much fun. It was hard. Like I definitely screamed at the screen more than once. Uh, but the fact that they like opened up the lore, and we talked a little bit um, in our Yaddle video when like I heard her name, I was like, I know who that is. Like it was just cool, like little Easter eggs here and there. Um, it's just cool to be a Jedi. Well, to how they show you how to play the game is uh, uh, Cal was a Padawan, his uh, master died, and then he's like in hiding on this like scavenger planet and literally takes you, like he kind of pushed some of that stuff out of his conscious mind. And so he, he's remembering what his master taught him. And that's how you go through the game is like you start to remember things and you start to like level up. And it was just, it was, it just unfurled so nicely. What species was his master? Oh. Or, or was, who do you represent? A, do you remember what it was? He was a really big guy. Was he what um, Zeb like, was? was? He Zeb? No. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yeah. That's what I thought. He was. Yeah. Uh, remember quickly. Is there a picture? No. No, I didn't have a picture. It was, cool. Of that. it was cool. Play the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play the game. So you got some of these characters, and you kind of tell me what happened to them and what's going on with them. That have, obviously was Cal right there. Mm-hmm. He's kind of the lead. What color sabers did he have? Didn't he have multiple color sabers? Oh, you can pick any color you wanted. Uh, I think you start off with green or blue, but then you can change. Like that was cool too. Is that there's different stations within the game that you can come across, 
and you can just lay out your lightsaber and like upgrade it. And uh, you can change the hilt, you can change different parts of the materials, the light, and then later you can have a double lightsaber. Yeah, doesn't he have a yellow saber in the dark? When they did the video game rollout for the uh, dark suit, he might he might very well have had a yellow saber when they yeah. rolled him out into the uh, black series figure. Um, I just remember that for some reason. I think he did. Real anyway, quick, what's what's this game going for still? Is this when did this come out? Two uh, two thousand eighteen, maybe. When did it come out? It doesn't say. Think it's still night. going pretty high. I know that they're right now it's around the holidays and they're doing a holiday special on it, but it's still up there. It's still probably fifty bucks. Probably like get that. it used though, right? I don't know. I don't buy used games. Probably. Yeah. Anyway, so get back to this. So this. So now, obviously, they did the lead in. She no longer is a Padawan. Sari is now an adult. How does she play into this whole? Scenario? Uh. So while he's on his. So basically he, he's on that scavenger planet, just hiding, just doing his job, like taking uh, old ships, getting parts. That's just, that's his life for like, I don't know, like what, five or 10 years or something. Uh, and then his friend finds out that like he saves his friend with the, the, the force and he's like, oh, you're one of them. And he's like, shh. And he keeps it, keeps it quiet. But one of the droids got him on film, but they couldn't see the face or like, so then they pull all those guys in a row and his friend, knowing that he's a Jedi, stands forward and says that he's a Jedi, and then ends up dying. And then he screams no, and then has to escape. How does he end up dying? Huh? How does he end up dying? Uh, he gets one of the, the, the nice sister, uh, nice sisters, uh, Inquisitors, uh, sabers him. Yeah. So the Inquisitors show up looking for any source of Jedi. So it's around that time where they're sending out the Inquisitors. Right around when we were talking about like this book right here, it's right around six. Uh, Darth Vader that time where they were sending out the Inquisitors just to pretty much hunt anybody who had was either an ex Jedi or was Padawan force trained, any type of training that they had, anybody who was above a kid. And it was that train took me forever to figure out stupid fan. Um, <laughs> and then uh, you're fighting that big uh, inquisitor. And that's yeah. when, yeah, she was tough, man. Um, and then Series comes you, and like you don't need you. that arm. <laughs> no. Well, if you remember, like, so this is an interesting little point about this that we've talked about too. Like, one of the questions that Jen had asked before privately is like, how many of these inquisitors are left? And we were going through which ones are dead and which ones are not. And uh, like the ninth sister in that scene, like she loses an arm, but that's okay because if you read those comic books, like around that era, the Darth Vader ones, you know that Vader had already taken her legs and taken an arm off before. She kind of gets force pushed, but she, we, do we know if she died? No, they don't show it. Yeah, so we don't know if she's dead or not. Um, which is interesting if she's if she's still around to, because she was something too, right? Like she was, she's very. Uh, hmm, I don't know how to put it. She's forceful. She's, Tough. She, yeah, she's not the nicest hard, person. Hard to kill. Yeah. A little bit, little bit uh, Marine Sergeant. A tank? She's kind, she's kind of like a, a stinky right. fart hidden underneath the covers. Like, that's oh. what she is. Yeah. Oh, a Dutch <laughs> oven. Yeah, she's almost like a Dutch oven. That's what she is. That's not nice. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, I, but am I wrong? That's what she is. So, she, she's a little pesky, I guess. Um, either way... So we don't know if she's still alive or dead. Uh, but speaking of other characters as the game goes on, that but there's another sister in there. And let's talk about the other sister real quickly. This is the other sister. Sister that was, two. That was a cool reveal, though. Do, you, do we do wait that for, for later towards the end? No, go ahead. Talk about it. We no, might as well talk about the people. Let them know. Okay, if you don't want to know spoilers and the cool unfurling of this game, then you should go play the game and come back to this video. But if you just don't want to wait and you want to just hear, okay. So Trilla is the Padawan to Siri. Yep. He, whatever her name is. There you go. To her. Yep. Uh, and you find out that when they were hunting after, uh, well, during the Order uh, 66, when they were looking for the Jedi, she got the Master, which is her, 
got all the Padawans and was like hiding them and like they're surviving, but like barely. And then she got captured and she got tortured very badly. And they kind of show some of it later and then gave up the Padawans. And that's a big no, no. And then that uh, Trilla finds out that that's what happened and then turns to the dark side and becomes an inquisitor. And you're like, what? Cause the whole time you're like, okay, she's an inquisitor. But when you find out she was a Padawan, you're like, oh, and then the fact that her master gave her up. And then that's, but when her master sees her put the Inquisitor helmet on, she then turns to the dark side and escapes. Feels horrible about it later. She's like, number one, that she gave up her Padawan, now it's an Inquisitor, and I used the dark side to get out of here. So she just kind of like does like a old man Luke and just turns it off. <laughs> but then finds out about Cal and saves him and then brings him into this world. So would you say that she kind of becomes um, a Trilla the Hun? <laughs> nice. That's a good one. You know? May, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, it was very reminiscent of uh, the Shauna story, you know, from uh, the Old Republic of how they were, how they converted her to the dark side. It looked, And it was like just as torturous as scenes of that had been before played out. Because they were using, you know, this is the same technology that they used to shoot the Mandalorian. They were using for these cutscenes in here, and it is very, very realistic. And they're torturing out. Like at first, you're like, they put you down a path where you're like, okay, Trill is an Inquisitor. We all know about Inquisitors, right? Inquisitors at one time were on the light side of the Force, and they returned to the dark side of Force, either through jealousy, anger, something to that effect. They always, but this one, she, they had turned her by telling her like okay, we're not going to kill you, but we're going to kill everybody else. And it's because you're the person you're mentoring ratted you out. And like, at first she was trying to tell, uh, what's his name? Like, oh, she, you know, career. Oh. yeah. Yeah. When Cal finds out, he's kind of upset. Like, cause he's like, how could you turn? Cause again, his master died saving him. Mm -hmm. How can you turn on your Padawan? Like, and then like, she's like, oh, you don't, She's she has that guilt about it, but like for a long time in the game, there's like a weird disconnect of like her just kind of taking a step back because she does still feel bad about it. Yeah, but even like how it was revealed, like in the beginning, how she, how Trilla had told him Cal about it, like she kept saying, like you better you don't know this, you don't know that, and kind of like almost ghostly haunting him with it. It honestly like the the storyline in the cutscenes, I kept finding myself, and I do this sometimes with games. But I kept playing for the cutscene, right? Like, because the cutscenes were so good in this game and they were revealing so many facts and they were doing so much and they kind of got you to hate Cree for a second. And then like, like, wait, what? And then you're like, wait, is she just like, you didn't understand. And then the more the story played out, the more you're like, oh man, oh man. So there's there's a character that I didn't put on here, uh, but we said his name already uh, as a title to the comic book. So why don't we explain probably what happens, unfortunately, to Trill? Well, okay. So that's another, she, her character arc of like hunting them down to find these like artifacts mm -hmm. that lead to something else uh, is intense. But at the very end, uh, what's her name again? Kiri? Kiri? Siri? Siri? Yeah. Uh, is like, I'll take care of her, don't worry about it. Um, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> nope, sorry, wrong gal. <laughs> Hello, nice. <laughs> uh, and, uh, when she confronts her, she basically says that she's sorry and that it wasn't anything that she like she, that she did, that and she just has this great big regret and that she's sorry, and then you kind of see in her eyes like Trilla realizing like it was just all a big mistake and that she is really heartfelt. Sorry about this. And then as that turn starts to happen in her eyes and you're like, Oh shit, she's going to turn back to the, the, you know, the light side, you hear the. And I was like, Oh no, no, no. And then he just kills her straight up kills her and then throws her. And then the, uh, the master comes at him, gets just tossed aside like nothing. And then like you're playing and you're like, what am I supposed to do now? And then it's, he was tough. I took me a while to figure out how to beat him. So he walks up behind, you hear the puffing and then like throws the lightsaber, like 
pierces on an angle up into Trilla, which is crazy. And then, yes, the, the actual play is... I mean, it's not like a TV show where I can like stop it and get clips out of it, though, unfortunately. But yeah, really cool. Well, really cool custom. I guess you don't beat him. I guess you just temporarily like get away. You get <laughs> and away. Then you. That scene where he's coming after you and you're just like, this is never ending. And then I even got to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm almost home free. And I literally yelled out loud when you open the doors and he's still there. And then I died <laughs> wow. again. And I was like, Dang it. Like if they didn't have that respawning at your last save spot, I would have, I don't think I ever would finish the game. So because we're, you know, on the air and recording, would you say you sounded very similar to like R2D2? Like bleep, 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 bleep. But like loud <laughs> and to the point where I'm like, maybe my neighbors are not liking me right now. So we know that, so that's it. So out of all the brothers and sisters and all the Inquisitors that we've seen, we've seen them all die, excluding technically uh, Big Bertha. We haven't 100%. I mean, she's armless. We don't know if she's dead yet or not. Um, but that Wait, that's the trail back, part. Go back. Oh, man. Can someone please give that gal a hand? I mean, come <laughs> on. She is down for the count. She is not looking good. You got to help her girl hand out. Hand before. Anyways, but uh, so after so after that, you you get into the uh, you actually get to visit a famous planet, don't you? Oh, so I, before that? No, before that. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's cool about the game is that you get to pick what planet you want to go to, and when you first get into the ship, you're like, okay, I, oh, Dathomir, I know what that is. I'll go there. No, don't do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's really hard, and you need to have you need to be you need to be leveled up to have certain abilities, which you, you won't have until later. But if you do go, there's a certain point where you get to where if you find like a secret way, you can. That's where you get the double lightsaber, uh, and you meet that guy he just showed. But you meet him with like a robe on his head, being kind of creepy, and you're like, "What are you doing on this planet with all these like people that aren't human?" And you're obviously human. Uh, so there's a bunch of ghost like type things on. And this creepy dude shows up and starts talking to Cal, who you're playing the character of Cal, and starts like stalking slash like creepy dude on the corner trying to ask you if you he can bum a smoke, maybe type thing. It's like weird, weird. weird. I'm um, just saying he is bald and does have a gray beard. So I mean, is it bald, me? Oh, he's not bald. He does have a head of hair. Well, I'm just saying so, they, they're starting to model a lot of these Star Wars ca characters after a certain somebody I know with this whole gray beard <laughs> thing going on. It's, it's a little flattering. So, uh, just spoil it. Who? It, what is this character? Like, what's his background? And then who does he lead into? And else? Okay. Uh, once you can get past a certain point, uh, you actually found out that he's a past Jedi who escaped the purge and went to Dathomir to just like seek asylum but then while he's there he's he, he meets the last night sister mirin now do they explain the scar on his chest uh i think it's just more of like the rituals of being there because when he first gets there he meets her as a kid and then needs to learn all these secrets of the night sisters for the magic because now he's like you know the jedi are weak we're being exterminated i need to like learn more kind of like messes her up in the head a little bit with the Jedi and like makes it hard for when we, when we meet her with as Cal, she kind of hates us because she's been poisoned because of him. Uh, so yeah, I don't think and explain and make sure I'm right on this. He's not really dark side, but he's kind of like, he's lost his brain. Like he's lost he, well, the, the spirit. If you were in Dathomir, that horrible planet, that's not very friendly. And it's like weird zombie like creatures and there's like different animals are trying to kill you like i feel like you just kind of would get tainted a bit of space dementia so you have to remember like son of death mirror is still a canon so therefore like the night sisters are dead but do remember when the night sisters are dead they still are like there's still the night sister ghosts that can float around and there's okay. the, the zombie walkers that can go to um so they're still there's still something very much there. Um, and they probably weren't happy that a Jedi fled the purge and landed on their planet. 
Also, too, uh, very interesting. Besides there being one night sister left, there's actually a matching pair. There's a, the Knight Brothers there, too, obviously, um, which actually opens up a whole other can of worms. We were kind of discussing this, how, like, you know, if you were watching Clone Wars, there was the um, there was the Knight Brother who kind of oversaw the village of Knight Brothers on the other side of Death Mirror. The one where they gave over Oppress when they came from and did the, was it the fighting between the two brothers? Oppress and what was it? Fer, Feral? Feral was the other Feral. Yep. Yeah. The Vaj of so, That guy, if I remember correctly, and if Maxwell's in the chat, he will correct us. We know he will. And I appreciate it. Don't we love you, Maxwell. That's why you're here, buddy. Keep ah. us on, on track. If I am correct, and I think I am, he he tried to like poison Townsend's bed or something to that effect and then snuck out some of the brothers with him. So there was a couple of brothers that probably still survived uh, the Count Dooku or the Grievous like murder fest on Sun on, on, on Death Mirror. And obviously like Darth Maul survived it because uh, Rukas pulled him out of the thing. But with that being said, so yeah, the, uh, 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 Knight Brother shows up too in it, but he's not that important. Um, but that's her match. And this character, like you kept asking me and I was like, I can't tell you anything because when you really liked her, didn't you? Well, when I was, cause I was chasing at one point, you're kind of like going after her. And I was like, is she the last night sister? Like, and then you're like, I, you know, keep playing the game. And at that point I was getting really close and I didn't yet get to the part where you fight that old Jedi guy. Uh, and I stopped playing for two weeks. And you're like, hey, did you get to that part yet? And I'm like, no, I'm taking a break. And finally, because you're, I kept asking you about her. And you're like, just play the game. And then when you find out, like, so she helps you defeat him. You can't defeat him because he knows Jedi stuff plus Night Sister magic. There's no way you're going to defeat him. She has to help you. And I was like. She has to help Cal because you're Cal, remember? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, she has to help Cal. Yeah. And then she comes with you. And I was like. General yeah. quickly. You do know you actually weren't inside the game. I know. <laughs> you weren't actually there. It's a lot of fun. Like, oh, no. I was there. You, you don't understand, Marco. I was there. I was. It's, I, so, good. I, it's so good. It is. It, 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 uh, but I understand because it's the same way. Like, I mean, you you feel immersed in the game, especially because of how good the crap. Like it was good. Either way, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Interrupt. The vibrations too, when there's like things happening, and like it just it's timed so well with what you're seeing that you're just like. And I, did you play with surround sound or did you do you have a headset? No, but I had it pretty loud, so it was nice. Okay, I have a headset, so like, sure. yeah, because like I play a lot of other types, but like I have a headset with a thing on it or whatever. If you watch some of our earlier shows, you'll see me use it for a mic. But I played with the headset on and didn't like it's crazy, like the sound effects too that was going on, which is really, really super cool. Either way, sorry, let's get back to this. So she has to team up with Cal who, or you, has to team up with you to help, <laughs> uh, help destroy the Jedi, ex-Jedi slash Knight Brother slash whatever crazy man he is. And then what happened? She goes with Cal and then when he gets in the ship, they're like, what is she doing here? And he's like, well, he's gonna, she's gonna come with. And they're like, she's a witch. And he's like, no, she's actually, and I really thought when it plays out a little bit more, I'm like, cause there's a couple other scenes that happen with her and she's kind of like that, like snarky cool girl. That's, that's kind of like what I, I thought she was. Cause she, she, her like one liners are, I thought were kind of funny. Uh, but I was like, Oh man, what if they get together and then they procreate and now there's more night people, but you're like, that might not happen. Um, I think our opinion on that character was a little bit different. Uh, I was, I more saw it as a, uh, like, oh yeah, okay, I see where this is kind of going, and oh, <laughs> the trope that they're going down with this one, and a bit of like, you know, the tr the problem with it was was the the Trilla storyline like was so, oh god, this is gonna sound bad. was so heart wrenching. Like it was, it wasn't like. You know, I we've mm. talked about it before. I'm not a dude that takes a lot of this fake stuff seriously where I'm crying about it, but it was like there was a little bit of an emotional attachment there where you're like, wow, man, that's like really well done, really hooked up. And I don't know if it was just emotional spent after that to the effect of like, okay, cool, you got the night sister, and oh, they're come from the different sides of the track, but yay, they fell. 
Whoa. Like, oh, they're falling in love together. Like, this is, I'm sorry, Jen. I'm ruining this for you. No, I, know. Okay. I just felt like maybe we need, because, okay. So what sucks is that like, so she comes with you. You basically can finish the game now. And I finished the game. Like, so two weeks off, one day I finished it. Like, once you get to that part, it's quickly over at the end. And I'm like, so your time with her is very short. I think if they would have made her like towards the middle, you could have had more time to, because with Trilla, like you're finding little pieces of her story throughout the whole entire game from the very beginning. And with yeah. the nice sister, it's like, well, oh, here's a nice little, like wrapping this story up from Clone Wars. Kind of, but they also left it open-ended. Yeah. So like Trilla, they finished off that portion of it. That's why when we were talking about who's left, because she, the original question is who's left in this game and that could show up in the the new extended universe the new star wars universe and obviously i was like well there might be one inquisitor because technically nine could big bertha could probably still be around she hadn't finished up the game yet so i couldn't say and she's like well there's a character i really want to now with that being said i think she hit it right on the nail like there's so much time you spend in the trilla storyline where they just they were dropping easter eggs at the same time it was like just really cool and I knew Death Mirror, but I didn't just jump to Death Mirror as quickly as she did. So she's probably more vested there. Where the storyline, and I didn't take two weeks off. So it wasn't like a big build up to like the, it was like, oh, it, she, you know, like there's, she pops up at that one point where she's kind of like, eh. Different point of views, which is fine. Star Wars is for everybody. Not all parts of Star Wars is for you or you or you. You know what I mean? It just what the Trilla portion of it was cool and I was pretty satisfied by the end of the trilla portion of it. This how portion did, was good. How did they but know it she sure was a witch? Did. What's hmm? that? How did they know that she was a witch? Like you you're playing and you don't know that she's a witch and then you kind of show up on the ship and they're like she weighs oh, no, no, the no, same no. as a no. duck. You, you kind of you kind of go after she fights you and then like runs away. And then oh that's right. I was telling you I hope I don't have to kill her because she's the last night sister. I'd feel bad if I was gonna snuff out the last one. And then, but she like pops up and then, yeah. Yeah. So she kind of like, you, you fight her once and then you don't do a good job and then she like runs away because, you know, you have to go after her. Okay. Okay. So these other people kind of are in, all right. They're in there yeah, now, I guess. You find about it. I mean, like. By the way, that was a great Monty Python reference. <laughs> she weighs the same as a duck. Is that how they knew that she was a witch? You guys don't uh, watch Monty Python. <laughs> Carry on. We do, but we're trying to get through this. So, but this was it. So I thought it was, and and I hadn't, I actually don't think I told you on this, but the also reason why I didn't bring it up and maybe I didn't like it so much is because I don't like when they open endedly leave a story where you're like, I like finishing, right? Like that's, uh, that's why I've said it before about empire is like, I like a beginning and an end. Even if you're going to bring these characters on, I like you to have a start and a finish for whatever the storyline is and then move it on. Which is why to... that movie is the best movie because there's a, a beginning movie before it and an end movie after it, which makes that movie the meat and taters. Yes, but I do. I mean, even if it's going to be a cliffhanger, like the cliffhanger can be an end, which this one, it kind of felt like, because even in this scene, right? If I remember correctly, they're just like, we're going to go on some adventures together. Like, well, yeah, dude, you, you literally yeah. had somebody go like, Hey, guess what? You not only broke every Jedi rule, you abandoned us, but I'm about to do my redemption. And just when you get the redemption, you get. Yeah. <sighs> and like, just rip, literally, literally Done. ripped her heart out with a lightsaber. But it's like, so weird to see to see oh, the turn in her eyes, right? Like when they showed her eyes, and you can see like that what she's saying is getting to her. You see the turn. You're like, oh, and then boom. And you also see the fear. You see the fear in Trilla, where it's like she hears it. She hears it, and then she does that thing where she's like, she oh, wait. fears, and then she's like with peace with it. Like she's just like. Didn't she say to them, like, "Avenge us"? Maybe, I can't yeah. remember. That's crazy. Like, oh, it was so yeah, it was like so fast there. Yeah. Then, yeah, he comes in and then yeah, yeah. But like that was just so cool. So like after that, then you get this one, and this one just seemed like a setup for either a second video game. Which by now, well, I mean that's a good point. When when Wookie asked about the price of this video game, right? Like it's still running strong. So like, yeah. is it running strong because they they still have good sales? Which they probably do. Like I think some people 
I got well, it as a freebie, right? Like, it so must I, be pretty good because now I'm going to have to go buy it because of all this and, and the oh. last two weeks of talks. So now I'm going to end up having to junk out on this thing. So that goes $50 I ain't got. Well, what's cool, and we didn't bring it up, uh, but Cordova comes in it because he has done extensive research in this like ancient race that found the balance between like the dark and light and how they have all these really cool temples and you have to like, unlock it. It's like puzzles. And then what they're looking for is like, Wait, time the, out. So the guy she's referring to, we didn't pull up a solo picture, but the old man here on the cover that we're looking at right now on the a cover of, uh, or the regular cover of uh Jedi fallen temple. That's what she's referring to. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Jedi uh, order dark temple. Number yeah. one. And actually like BD one, that little robot that sits on your shoulder that helps you through some of the, or most of the game has like uh, holograms of Cordova and explaining when you get to the temple and how you unlock stuff, like like hints and stuff. And it's because you're trying to find the holocron that has all the potential younglings in the universe. And you're like, oh, this is really important. And of course the Nessus freaking wants that thing. So that's why you're, you're, you're trying to like get there faster because you don't, they're right, right behind you. And sometimes you show up and there's already stormtroopers everywhere and you're like, <gasps> And then what was really cool, I thought, was when you finally do open the holocron, he because he he sees when he touches things, his one of his force abilities is to see kind of like when Ray touches the lightsaber and can see the history of the object. That's what Cal can do. You can touch something and then he gets the memory of like what's gone on. So when he touches the thing, he sees the future of him forming a Jedi Order, teaching these younglings. And at first it's happy. It's like, here I'm teaching you the force, you know, and he's like, Yeah, I'm a good teacher, we're good teachers. And then you see them being hunted and dying and like he ends up being turned into an inquisitor and you're just like what and it's like a cool like sequence and then he he chose he chooses to destroy it because he's like wait let's just leave it to the force like these younglings of course will always have the force but let's just leave it to that like the will or the wills uh to see what's going to happen like oh, that's such a good scene yeah, which is also like there's some tie-ins there to maybe like a certain water fortress that may have the linking up to some of the uh, children or where you can find. But also, too, opens up a lot of possibilities with both the Cal character and all the characters that are still alive. Now, mind you, that's kind of why we brought up the comic book, because yeah. at least one of these characters shows all oh, the robots here to the left. I cut most of them out of it. That's great. Um, but show, shows up in that comic book. And, you know this does look like a little bit like a way that they might be trying to go and want it. Remember they're putting out different storylines at this point. Right. And they're trying to get away from the Skywalker saga, but we don't know exactly where we're going, but we do have some hints. They're still going to keep around a Jedi order. Okay. They're definitely going to have some training going on and their big thing is about expanding the universe so much so that you may not have people directly interlink with each other. They might just cross paths at some point. And how this game ended, they definitely set these, these, this, well, it's Grez. What's her name? The night sister, Sarah um, and Cal. They set them up. They set those four up to bypass some of these portions. And maybe that's it. Like, I know everybody's excited and wants every single character they know to show up in every single other thing, yeah. but maybe it's a passing thing, right? Like they've done it before, not in the best of uh, cinematic things, but like, you know, when you hear like, when you see like Hera's ship, the ghosts show up in something, a yeah. terrible movie, or like, you know, a voice of a Ahsoka Tana in the same terrible movie show up. Like that type of things where you're getting, well, it wasn't just them. It was like everybody, right? Like they were using all that stuff. Maybe you'll see yeah. something to that effect where you have these, they kind of, go past each other. They've used it in other examples. It's just really laid out here and I cannot remember them all at this point. So, and I'm not good at prepping shows. Uh, my point being is like, you might see this back and forth or in the background or something to that effect where they're using it. And these characters are something I think we could see come up again. I'm not sure if they're, do you think they're going to do another video game? With I thought them? they were going to do Jedi Fallen Order 2 because this is such a popular game. But I also wonder if like Disney is going to be like, listen, it's really popular either and i know like i brought up that cal's lightsaber is going to be available at the disney kingdom's uh galaxy's edge mm -hmm. uh, it's like they i feel like they have to pull at least one character from this video game like they which, have which one are they doing are they doing the yellow one the hilt with the yellow yeah that's what yeah. they're gonna do okay yeah that's like, kind of cool like oh. 
Well, it sounds like, like they left it kind of open so that they could carry on with whatever. I mean, it sounds like they could do another game. They could do a, a cartoon series. They could do a, a, a ton of stuff. I we just don't know. know. Like, let's say, okay, let's 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 walk this out real quickly for everybody out there because everybody loves to like figure this out. But even though we have no clue what we're talking about, but like, if you do another game, I'm just trying to see it, right? Like. Where, like, where does that, where does this storyline go? What, what, what do you see out of this storyline? I think it's Cal still on the path. Like, she knights him, by the way. Yeah, she, uh, knights she knights him. On no, the, like, literally knights him. Literally down on one knee, like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my hair. So besides him, like following the force that's one of his things too like throughout the game is that he's just not trusting the force it's like where's the force gonna lead me and i liked in this game too like where people are like oh soka's gonna have her own like younglings and jedi thing and it's like but cal already in this game it shows you like you can't do that because it would draw too much attention to you guys and they'd come for you like it makes more sense to leave it up to the the force and if through time two people can meet and like one can train another one like the rule of two but like like Sabine and Ezra could have a child and then they could, you know. <laughs> Ezra. Um, no, no, what I, you know what? I was just clicking to me and think though, like at some point, like if you go into deep outer realm, like do know this, like the, the main force behind hunting a lot of these people down was obviously Vader, but also the inquisitors well after once you get into you know once you get into like almost into new hope pre you know leading up to new hope most of the inquisitors are done right like mm -hmm. there's maybe there's two unless you add new ones the best you can guess is that there's two left now the grand inquisitor somehow is something that is attached to a temple somehow that may be a force ghost but maybe somehow not a force ghost like that's just confusing mm -hmm. But at best, you have a brother maybe out there and, and one sister. Um, unless they add more. Like I said, they can always add more. But um, that's the best you have. So who's – well, oh, you got the assassin of uh, – what's his name? The guy that the guy that kills Ray's parents. I guess you could send him out there because he's all the way – he's all the way up till – well, he's all – because he kills Ray's parents, so he kills Ray's parents. That's like on the crew after Jedi – yeah. So yeah, I mean he's still out there, I guess. But like, how many Jedi? How many are they still looking for Jedi's? You know what I mean? Like, you got to think in a couple of years after this is done, like you might have five more years where you're like hiding. Is there really somebody hunting them, or is mm -hmm. it? So maybe after, like after the the second Death Star goes, goes, he can start recruiting. Well, and I, I mean, after well after a New Hope. Vader really focuses and spends all of his time looking for Luke and figuring out who this new four strong kid is. I mean, his focus isn't on anybody but Luke. That's and, what I'm saying. Like right and around the double cross of Palpatine and all of that. And then I'd blah, 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 blah. But yeah. so right around this time is where you're going to have that transition of like, they're not really hunting down ex Jedi's anymore. No. Now they're looking for this one force kid. They think they've gotten the majority of them, right? Like they're not really. Yeah. I mean, obviously they have to know, which is something weird. You haven't really had it come up before. Maybe you have, I'll have to go back and look, but like somebody killed the night sisters or the inquisitors. I mean, they didn't just disappear. You know what I mean? Like yeah. hmm? could be Cal. He could try to dip in order to protect the other younglings before Vader goes down. You could, he could be going after the inquisitors with his team. No, what I'm saying is though, no, no, no. We know how some like Maul kills one. Like we know how they've all died. Yeah. My question is, my thing is this: if you're, you know, that's a program under Vader, right? Like so, Vader knows they're dead. He like all of a sudden, if Sister Two did die, like he knows that Cal did it. He obviously knows Cal's out there because he kills Trilla. Mm -hmm. He goes after you. Yeah, it's interesting because I know that the guy who did the voice and the likeness is an actor. And I think that wasn't an accident. Like, they have the option. It's like, why would you make your main character an actor who's recognizable? And then you're giving him some time, so he's he's, a, he's aging up. 
Because, I mean, I want to know, like, where I'm at with this game and, like, wanting to know more is I want to know what happens to Mirren, the Last Night Sister. And I kind of want to see Cal, like, what he does with, like, what do you do now after, either during or after Vader, right? What do you do if you have this kind of power and this training and you know you can help people? You have to be careful about it because you don't have to draw too much attention to yourself. But, like, what do you do? Like, I want to know. <laughs> yeah, but you've been hunted. You've been, So you've been hunted by, like, there's, so there is a couple people, like, Opo or whatever that really haven't been hunted, right? Like, the Jedi's that are still, or ex-Jedi's or force, real force strong people that are like the light side who actually haven't been hunted before. There are a couple of them out there. But they haven't really, they've been hunted, but they haven't really been hunted. He's like, he's seen the eye of the hunters. Yeah. He's, you know, he's maybe killed a hunter or two, but like he knows they're coming. So if you know they're coming and like some of them, you know, like uh, what's her name? The librarian, she knew they were coming, but she just wanted to get the stuff hidden before they came, which she yeah. did. So like, you know, those, that type of thing is, is something else. He, he's not he knows they're coming and knows that they know he's alive. Right. And knows where he was. So like, maybe that's the next realm of where it goes. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, obviously they didn't know that um, Nero is still alive. Cause I think they will have gone back and finished off what they were starting and completely wipe out the night sisters. Cause that might bite the emperor in the butt. Well, but like, even like the temples, like, I don't think we know even like, Five percent of the temples that ex like we've seen temples in Clone Wars, in Rebels, and even Exegol, I guess, would be another kind of temple. We don't, we've never like that has to be like ten percent of all temples in the universe that exist. Like yeah. Well, so Malcor apparently had something on it. So did Mustafar. So I mean, like there was a bunch of them, uh, and they like they were all over the place. Uh, what's his name? Coruscant kind of had one too. You know, like they've had a bunch of temples before. They've wiped a lot of those out. But yeah, this might be the reinventing of temples. So maybe that's Cal's next big thing. Maybe their challenge, and that'd be a perfect video game, really, when you think about it, is he starts traveling all out. Yeah. And he ends up going and finding temples and they can start establishing different point of views where they can like bring in some of the old storylines of how certain Jedis or certain Sith built the temples and how they, you know, demise. Of he the becomes temple. Indiana Jones. <laughs> I was holding the joke back, man. I was trying to be good. <laughs> and then Jen drops it. <laughs> gold, oh baby. God. That was gold. The Temple okay. of Doom is here it comes. Doom. Temple of Doom. It's the crossover we've all wanted. No, no, <laughs> no. Well, I could do uh, Cordova. Cordova was seeking out those temples. He's kind of like, yeah, yeah. So you could do that, or you could actually, and like you could, but how cool, even like, hopefully, this is my thing. Like, I get it. Like, I like the video games, but like, I kind of would rather them give us like more digestible. Like, I hate, I only end up playing the video games. As I was saying, as I was saying, <laughs> I rather they give us more digestible stuff that we can get on, like you know, go back and watch it again, rewind it, play it. Like, I mean, I know you can do that with the cutscenes, but it's not like the same. Like, yeah. it seems like some of these video games I end up playing just for the cutscenes, like get it done so I can get to the cutscene. Some Correct. of the Star Star Wars cutscenes are amazing. Like, there's uh, from uh, the Old Republic. Like, rewatching those things, I'm watching a movie. For a long time, when we weren't seeing any movies at all or, or content, I was like, why can't they just take this, flush I, it out a little bit more? You're talking like, from the MMO. I think Not, someone yeah. did. Didn't someone take all the cutscenes out and put them all together and yeah. put them all but, like, but I'm saying, like, can't they just do that without, like, and just that's our content. Like, instead of ha I mean, having to go to YouTube to find someone who recorded sure. all of them and then put it together. Like, yeah, I mean, they used to let you do that with old video games. You could play the cutscenes at the end. Yeah. Yeah, just one big long cutscene. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. So, but that's it. Like that, and that, and that's another one. Not, not Darth Rit Revan, because that's what everybody thinks when they hear Old Republic. Not that Old Republic. Like the twins, that type of Old Republic. Like that story cool. is so cool, man. I wish they would deep dive into that type of stuff. Like the two brothers, the one that's light, the one that's dark, and the dad's yeah. like crazy. 
it's like you know um good and then yeah well good i like it's, it later when you find out that she, there's a sister oh with the mom and the, yeah of the twin okay yeah even like the invasion where what's his name the darth comes in and they like they're in the temple and it's supposed to be a piece. So that was taking off. So that actually, that portion is taken off of a previous like legends area and actually had at one point, Luke, Oh, this is way. So I'll do it. Yeah. So like at one time, like Coruscant's taken over by cis, but they're like a whole bunch of cis that like, they're like in charge of stuff and they're on a second level. Then they're a third, you know, it's like a whole civil civilization. And then Luke has to go in there and expose them. And like this, huh. so it's kind of like a take on all that kind of stuff where there's like a peace treaty between the Jedi and the Sith. And like, as long as they're not like doing bad things, it's okay. Hmm. So I wasn't a hundred percent loving it when I first saw the part where they're like, there's a peace treaty between the Jedi and the Sith. But then when they come down and they're just like every, I'm killing not just you. Almost pull the Darth Bane, right? Like, nah, nah, nah. We're not Wait, doing this. We're not playing. Was that the one where you see like the ship go into the temple crash, and then you see them fight, and it's freaking amazing. And you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. And he ends up killing. He's like, he's like, I've been waiting forever to see uh, Korriban, and he goes, yeah, you're gonna be waiting longer. And cuts that one cis head up like a sit. Uh, Maglis cuts off. Uh, I just murdered his name too. Maglis, it's not Maglis. It starts with it's. That's pretty close. Though. That's pretty close. He ends up uh, cutting the one Sith guy's head like just right off. The guy's like, "Yeah, we're gonna go back to Korma. Ah, and he just cuts them off, and it's done. Like, and then you're like, "Yeah, like that." It's it's a combination of like a lot of stuff that happened in Legacy, but instead of like suckering it out, it, they kind of combine good parts and put them together, and really did a good job. And I think you're right. Like the cut. That's why I like. When they were saying that that MMO was going to die, I was like, "Cool, but like, can we get the cutscenes out of that?" And can we? And then, unfortunately, they made it free, and it became more popular. And then they did everything else with it. But like, one day, I hope, you know, this is kind of talks we have all the time. Like, there's so many things we want to see. How much can they really do in the phases? I think somebody asked us in a chat real quickly, like, what phase is that going to happen? And I think that's what you have to start thinking about because that is the formula they like to use. Uh -huh. Is in phases and like some of this stuff, man. I might be a grandpa before it comes out. I hope it comes out, but like well, you're now putting out new content and creating new areas because you have to. Yeah, and you're reviving a lot of pushing it out too. With uh, uh, for sure, they're giving us Obi Wan Kenobi, and that's mm -hmm. between uh, the Re Rebels. No, well, I guess Clone Wars and uh, the first original movie. Mm -hmm. So you're pushing out that. And then if they do a solo two, which I, I keep hearing now that it might do a solo two. So like, that's like that era. So they're fleshing out what we already kind of know, but you're right. Like there's pre, and then there's this other stuff that we're really like in love with. And we're like time. Yeah. So when they said they were getting away from the Skywalker saga, that's kind of true, but it seems that they're going back and filling in like the comics have been doing it for years. Yeah. Some of the books have too, but it seems like that's what they're going to do to fill. There's no more, obviously, they're not, they're not lying. There's no more movies that are going to be about the Skywalker saga, but like they're filling in those last little pieces. Cause if you want to really technically Obi-Wan fits into it, uh, tech, Oh, it's time for somebody to go. Um, the, technically he does technically, if you do a solo story that fills into it, really anything that you get, it goes from clone wars to, uh, Jedi. Well now all the way to it stinks. Cause like, that's it. Like even, even the TV show Mando, technically, if you introduce, we guys, it's only like the fourth one shown. So if this is wrong now, just take it for what it is. We do think she's going to show up. But when you show up Ahsoka Tana, that's actually linked to the Skywalker saga. So you're filling in like the sub sub stories of the Skywalker yeah. saga. You see what I'm saying? Like you're, you are filling out the Skywalker saga, but they actually have brand new content they're adding in. So they're like when you're doing stuff like the High Republic, you that's brand brand new. That time period and those characters have never been. Well, I mean Yoda's going to be in it, but never been introduced before. And you're going to fill in that category, and you're bringing in stuff from Legacy, the all the stuff from the original Marvel series, like Solo's favorite Jax Jackson uh, the Rabbit, and um, obviously you know there's some bounty hunters and some other things that are coming over. 
and you have brought over uh, the stuff from Dark Horse. You're starting to rewrite the Thrawn thing is great, like what they've been doing with that. I mean, that thing just keeps expanding. And by the way, he has a relationship with Anakin Skywalker, so kind of links to the Skywalker saga. But you're bringing all this stuff back. Like, how how can you like? There's only so much. What right? if you need all these char characters to come together? Like you have uh, Cal and his group. You have the Rebels group. You have Man Mando and his group, the Mandalorians. Like, what if you bring back the Mandalorians to power? You set things up. You can maybe bypass some of the new new movies by them being somewhere else in the galaxy because a bigger threat is coming. So like Ray and her band was to take care of Palpatine. That's not the big, big overarching bad. It's the Yuuzhan Vong. Like you need all of them. So like, and they're all spread out like amongst, cause I, I, again, I really want to see that star chart of like all the plans that we know of and like the expanse of it. And then like where- It's getting places. bigger. Huh? It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger than it's ever been before. It really is getting like even with the outer rim and the unknown regions, like it's getting huge. Um, that would be one way to, but you would have to have a reckoning. You can't. But like with the wills, like that's one thing too. Like I really liked about season six of, Star of uh, Clone Wars was like the filling out of the lore of like the wills and like Yoda and finding out because that whole all of season six was not nothing to do with like Luke uh, Anakin. It was all about filling out like the lore like what does the force the wills do when the father's gone the daughter's gone the brother's gone and there's an imbalance like is Yuuzhan Vong I don't know I just there's they have a lot to play with I'm just curious you're right how they're going to tie it all together in the time the amount of time that they have you can't there's no way there's no there's no pot especially if you want to start bringing in the video game stuff like unfortunately unfortunately I think they're going to do uh, or not unfortunately, I hope they actually kind of do this, like how they do it with the Black Series line. You know, now they finally, it used to be everything was under Black Series. Now they have the Black Series gaming line. They have the Black Series uh, original trilogy or Skywalker line. They have, it, it, it changes in colors. Like mm -hmm. the boxes change compared to what they are and where they come up. They have the Cold Wars line. They have this line and this line and this line. I think that's it. You're going to have these lines. Now, can you select a couple of those characters and put them together for the Vong? Yeah. Um, if they do that, I think it would be really cool if they do. If you do, though, it's not going to be who you think. I mean, you're going to have new, you know, the timeline of that would have to be, it has, but you could, if you do, that's a whole nother, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, no, I think you're right. There's going to do lines, but I mean, there's, Gonna, there's definitely characters that have that full realm of crossover in there and in, in the way their crossroads lay on top of each other. So, I mean, it's, it's Disney that there's so many things that they can do and carry on for so long. I mean, it took 10 years for MCU. Yeah. 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 But I also think they learned with MCU that you can, like, you can't do end game. Like you need to, like, if you do, yeah, yeah, that'd be the if well. You, but you have to have you do that. That's kind of like an end gamer, right? Like you need to keep it going. Yeah. yeah. So you could do that if you can scratch it out for twenty years, and then have the you long like that. Well, the other advantage is they're not just doing. They're, yeah. So again, the big five. I mean, they have movies, TVs, cartoons, action figures, video games. Their market is vast, so they have many ways to, and comic books to. They have all those mediums to be able to help them pro, prolong and progress the story. Mm -hmm. So now they have Disney Plus, and they can add it on there and tell what? little snippets, or they can have a two-hour movie, mm -hmm. or they can. I mean, there's just so many ways that they can tell different fractions of the stories. And what if they flip it? What if the stuff that we consider, like, I know they're doing High Republic, right? What if the stories that we fell in love with during uh, Dark Horse, they flip it? They go, okay, Yuuzhang Vong is our 10-year plan. And then just take all the stuff that was, like, stories and just flip it and, like, can rewrite it to, like, be the extensions later down the road. They're like, we don't, like, they're not going to run out of content. No, they're not. They have uh, It depends on how well High 
It depends on how well High Republic does, and we'll do a video on that. I, I've seen some things that give me hope, and I've seen some things where I'm like, oh boy. So yeah. Um, I will say this though, and it was just giving me a think. What? How, let me ask you your opinion on this. If if Cal's story is extended, but it's extended through cartoons, how would you feel like about that? I mean, if, if they, uh, as long as they don't, if they keep the animation and they make it look good, then I I don't care. Like I just want to see it. Like, and that makes sense because eventually that that guy's gonna age out, right? Event, you know, if it's gonna be twenty years, I guess they could always just have him be older. Like, but cartoons, you can do a voice actor for. Ever. Yeah, I mean, we because we know that, look, we know Bad Batch is coming, right? <clears throat> but what we don't know, and this is before Dece the December Disney meeting, so we're just, stuck. like I said, this is before Mando, this is before the Disney meetings, all this stuff could change. And they have announced a Darth Maul and a Darth Bane. Was it Darth Bane? Yeah, I think yeah, Darth they Bane. Yeah. Yeah, Disney, I don't think two Disney, ago. Somebody, somebody said they're doing a Darth Bane thing. I didn't, I didn't hear Disney say they're doing Darth Bane. I'm almost positive that came from Disney that they said that they were going to make a live action, possibly Disney Plus, Darth Maul, and possibly Darth Bane. Why would you do Darth Maul? Because what, what, so many cool. Oh, you're gonna do stories. the Red Dawn story. You're gonna do the rest of the Red Dawn. Is that what we're saying? Oh, yeah, you, you could do the rest of Red Dawn. You could do. Um, Wasn't that what Solo Two was supposed to be about? You could do. There's a bunch of stuff you could do with Darth Maul still. But eventually, he's gonna. We all know his uh, rebels. We all know how. Yeah, it goes. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. What? Wait. What? Darth Maul? Could you still? No. I. I'm. I mean, I know I'm tired, but the only thing I can think you could do with Darth Maul. I mean, you could do like Palpatine raising him up, I guess. Yeah, the you syndicate. Can see that. But the syndicate, uh, yeah. But if you're doing Solo Two, yeah, why aren't you under the impression that Solo Two was going to be about uh, what's her name and then dealing with the Red Dawn? So mm -hmm. like, yeah. So okay, Red Dawn's done. So you have. What if? Uh, what if they don't Dylan do Solo done. Two as a movie, though? Sorry. What if Galen Malik is uh, Darth Maul's apprentice? I'm know. sorry, what did you say? I'm just throwing it out there. Remember the from Forces Unleashed, Galen Malik? What if they make hey, him yeah, Darth right. Maul's apprentice? Darth Maul. No. What if they just have the little snippets before he meets up with Obi-Wan because Obi-Wan's going to be on Tatooine? There's still plenty of little snippets that they can they fill was called, in that did, little timeline. It was, was called Rebels. Well, I mean, there's extra stuff that they can add in on that, though. Look at, for, look at Forces of Destiny. They fill in five-minute segments all day about all kinds of stuff. I just want to stay alive, for sure, for sure, for sure, for at least 30 years, but probably longer. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. No, I'm trying, I'm trying to – I really am trying to rack my brain. Like, you're going to fit – well, I guess you could. You, you're going to fit like six months of Star Wars time and extend that out to like 12 episodes? They said it's only one season. So eight episodes, one season. I think I think the best bet, once again, I think if we're going to do... Yeah, that's why I think that the... That's why I don't think... I think they either do a second solo or they do the Darth... Whatever Darth Maul thing they're going to do. That's why I don't... Yeah. They, they, you know, the, they didn't you know, specify... They just I said heard something was coming. Yeah, something's coming. Uh, yeah, I have no doubt that something is always planned for the doll to finish up. But there's very, once again, very finite time period left with Darth Maul's character. As there, Darth Bane, you could do a lot more with a very ugly, very ugly, unappealing the uh, character. Uh, but there's so much you can do, especially then you could get a beat. You can like really when you talk Bane. The Bane's best part is that you can do Xana. Like that's the killer. She's, I would say, arguably, if you want somebody who is has more potential, really has potential, out of all those characters leading up to Palpatine, even even Plagueis. Like, really, when you have characters leading up to Plagueis, maybe and past that to Palpatine, because like Tr Dark Trimon's like 
what you're gonna put a squid head on a like that doesn't make any sense darth millennium you're gonna bring that dude back to do what to like run a cult like yeah that's whatever but like if you bring her in like i could see that like the the dark force buddy cop and then like also mafia story because like that's really what happens right like he's mad that she doesn't kill her and then she ends up killing him and like but at the end she's actually more ruthful like ruthless than him because she didn't want to kill and injured him she wanted him to get full strength so she could full strength kill him right like so yeah i could see that happening uh that one i could see happening the only thing i can see happening with darth maul is 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 doing the red red dawn stuff Red Dawn. Yeah. Sure. Red Dawn. Wasn't that a what's his name movie? Patrick Swayze movie. Yep. <laughs> Wolverines. Yeah, Wolverines. Uh Wolverine. go green. Go green. Go green. All right. Well, uh, does anybody else have any other rabbit hole that we should uh, go down at this time period? No. Jen, thank you for taking us through the uh, lovely game of Fonger. What's that? It's such a good game. You got like anyone who hasn't played it, like solo, you're gonna have so much fun when you play this game. You guys, solo. I am gonna freaking text you guys at 2 a.m. my time, which is like 4 a.m. your time, and I'm gonna be like, Oh, MG, look at this. The freaking <laughs> <laughs> you guys only do it on only do it on Thursdays up to uh, because I'm oh, only no. up till the Mandalorian's done. All right, excessive compulsion. Go over All there. Right. Yeah, get All it. right, guys, go down to Bird City Comics. Hit up that code D A R K S H D E and check out all their books and all their exclusives and all their incredible stuff that they have. And uh, yeah, give our friends a little look see. Okay, yeah, and take us out. Is so if you can just take us out of here. We're done for the evening. Then when you guys are done. Pull up for color creations and check out his stuff. Great, great stuff over there. Make sure you're fighting your spine ticks with the comic book barricades. Then go over and like and subscribe with a little force push on those buttons. Saber smash that bell so you can be alarmed when the greatest voices and faces on this side of the galaxy come to visit you. And may the force be with you. Always. Always.